All right, guys, it's Rock. I wanted to make a tutorial real quick for everybody out there looking to make a, a DIY stream deck for all your streaming needs. Um, so what I did is I was able to set up a an old tablet that I had laying around um, to function as a stream deck, similar to the Elgato's or, or one of the much more expensive $150 models that you can get. Um, but what this is gonna let you do is it's gonna let you to control a lot of things um, in stream as far as changing scenes, starting recording, stopping recording, um, you know, muting audio sources, uh, things like that, so that you can do that while you're streaming without having to alt tab out of your game or, you know, take your focus off of chat and interacting with your viewers. So to start, let's talk about what we need. First off is you're going to need a tablet or a phone, any mobile device it needs to run iOS or Android. Uh, you're going to download a program called Rocket Power Grid. So here's the, the website for it. Um, but you can find this on the Google Play Store um, or the Apple App Store. Um, you're just going to download that on your mobile device and, and get that installed. Uh, that's going to work as your remote. So that'll become your stream deck. Uh, you want that to be something that can stay on for however long you're streaming. So preferably you would want it to be able to stay plugged in. Uh, again, I said I'm I'm using an old tablet. Uh, it's a, a Galaxy Tab 2. It's probably five or six years old by now, um, but it still does what we need it to do. Second thing you're going to need is you're going to have to install the program on your, your host PC. You want your host PC to be whatever one um, you're going to be running OBS on, uh, whatever one you're streaming from. So if you're on a dual PC setup, you're going to want to set this up on your streaming PC. So you get that downloaded, um, get the host software uh, on your uh, host PC, and then you'll be able to open it on here. So here you see my setup. Um, this is sort of a basic stream deck that I've got set up. This area that you see on the right here is what I see on my tablet. Um, first step you're gonna have to do so once you get this installed on the host PC, open it up on, on your remote uh, device and get that connected. As long as they're on the same Wi-Fi, it shouldn't be a big deal for them to connect. Uh, the only other thing you may need to do is uh, pull up your IP address for your host PC and then punch that into your, uh, your, your tablet or your phone or your remote device. All right, next up is you're gonna have to start adding buttons. Once you've got the app downloaded on your remote device and you've got the, the power grid program downloaded on your streaming PC, you're going to open up the, the program on both devices and connect them. So they got to be on the same Wi-Fi network or the same network. My PC is plugged in via Ethernet and my uh, tablet runs on, on Wi-Fi but they're on the same network, so they'll be able to connect, and your remote device will be able to connect to, or um, control your streaming PC. Once you get them connected, you're gonna come up to a screen like this on the host PC. This is kinda where you're gonna set everything up. So what you see here on the right is my current setup uh, for Stream Deck. So I've got options to mute and unmute my mic. I can open different apps that I need while I'm streaming, OBS, Spotify, the Nightbot app, Discord. These four uh, buttons right here will let me change between different scenes in OBS. I can start and stop stream, um, and then I can open different things that I may need to get to while I'm streaming. So either my Twitch dashboard, my following directory for when I'm trying to find someone to host or raid, and then Twitter if I wanna punch out you know, when I'm going live and when I'm playing. But first, let me show you how to set this up. So I'm gonna create a new grid here real quick just to kind of show you guys from, from step one. So when it says new grid, basically what you're just saying is you're gonna set up a new grid of buttons. So you can name your, your grid. So I'm gonna call this, you know, Stream Deck 2. All right, so you give it a name and then that'll show it down here so that you can switch between different grids on your device depending on what you're doing. Maybe you want to have one set up for different games that you're streaming. Maybe you want to have one set up, you know, just for playing games and being able to control things uh, in the game. Then there's a few other options. Um, you can set a grid background. So if you want this image to be different, 
you can put a, a, an image in there and then that'll be the background for the grid just a little personalization um, and then grid auto switch this is if you want this grid to automatically become active whenever you open a specific program um, since I use this to open all the programs that I use to stream I just leave it uh, I leave it blank and I leave the same same stream deck running at all times and then over here you can, can you can customize tab size you can change the tab icons you can change the icon size you can change the colors of everything whatever you want to do um, but this is to set up sort of the grid once you do that you'll see that it highlights uh, stream deck 2 and now we've got a blank grid to work with so this is where we're going to start actually building the stream deck so i'll go through a few different uh, functions how to add um, to control different things on the pc now we'll talk about adding buttons to the stream deck so the three uh, buttons that we're going to talk about are adding to launch a website to launch an application and then to control different functions in obs via macros the first thing you got to do is you're going to come up to the editor tab and this is where you're going to build all your buttons so we'll start with opening a website the first option is you've got a whole bunch of presets so if you want to launch to one of these websites you can just click on the one that you want add it to the grid and now boom this is going to send you to google now if you want to add a website that isn't on here go to open website um, and say you want you know to load your channel first thing you'll do is type into the website what the actual website you want to launch is we'll put my my twitch channel up there and then for text title you're going to go ahead and just put in what you want it to say right so we want it to say twitch um and then you can change the control size this is what's how big uh on this grid the button's going to appear on your remote device so if you're using a, a cell phone or a smaller screen you may want to make this bigger i know this is a seven inch tablet and the one by one is is the, like the perfect size for for this this function Next option is you're going to be able to add an image or an icon. This is the image that's going to show up on the button. Uh, I don't think I have a Twitch button, but we'll add something real quick. Uh, oh, we do have a Twitch button. So we'll hit this. Now the Twitch logo is going to pop up on there and we're good to go. Then you can change the background. There's a few different ones. I tend to keep the gray stripe because I think it looks good. And then if you want to put a, a special sound for when you click the button, you can. But then once you're done add grid and now it's up there and when you click that on your stream deck it'll open up uh, the twitch directory so what I'll do is I'll hit apply this will send it over to um, my app we'll click it and then boom it's gonna launch twitch just like that Right, so now we want to open an application and this is very simple it's almost identical to opening a website but this time we're going to open a program on your computer so what we're going to do is right here again in the controls we're going to go to open application and it's going to ask you for the application that you want to open so for example if we want to open up spotify i happen to have already copied mine we'll click spotify now this is going to bring up I use the shortcut a lot of times um, instead of the actual exe i had some issues opening obs with the executable file uh, it gave some uh some error codes but as soon as i pointed this button to the the shortcut for obs it opened fine so um play around with it a little bit you might have to do some trial and error and then same thing you're going to add a text title right so we want it to say spotify um, so that we can pull up our music um, image icon a lot of times especially if you use the shortcut it'll pull up the image for you automatically and again you can change the background you can change the button sound and then once again you're just going to add it to the grid and then it's going to work just like um, the website button except this time it's going to open spotify so as an example boom now we're opening spotify so now let's talk about controlling OBS with the power grid. The main idea behind this is 
setting up hotkeys in OBS to perform specific functions, and then setting up the power grid to push those hotkeys when you uh, push the button on your Stream Deck. To do this, first we gotta set up hotkeys. So we'll go into settings, we'll go into hotkeys, and here you see you've got a few options. You've got your global functions, so start and stop in streaming, starting and stopping recording, transitions, um, whatever you need. Then you've got scene specific ones. So this would be to uh, activate or deactivate um, different inputs in or outputs in your scenes or to switch to the scenes, which is what I use. So for example, here we've got my starting soon screens. This is what I'll hit when I start streaming before I'm actually ready to go. Just let people kind of gather up and, and, and get into stream before we go live. So to do this, if I hit Alt 2, it's automatically gonna switch to starting soon too. Um, so as I set this hotkey, all you're gonna do is click in this box, hit Alt 2, it'll record it, and then you'll hit apply. So now what I wanna do is I wanna set up Power Grid to hit Alt 2 for me. That way, I'm not uh, taking my attention off a of stream. I'm just reaching over to the, the tablet in front of me and hitting that button. Um, so what we'll do is we're gonna come up here, we're gonna go to macro button, um, and you're gonna assign a macro. So we'll call this uh, starting two, okay? Then you're gonna hit start recording. Um, and then the key to recording uh, macro for OBS is to make sure you record the delays. OBS doesn't like to see both buttons getting hit at the same time. So what this does is it lets you um, record the actual delay in between it so it'll mimic your button presses. So to avoid actually switching scenes, I'm gonna record Alt-5. Um, so this kind of just shows you what it's showing is it records the, the Alt press, the delay between them, the five press, and then releasing both of those. So when I hit the button on, on the power grid on my tablet, it's gonna go through this sequence. And then just like every, all the other buttons, you can set up the, the trigger function, whether you wanna tap it, double tap it, or hold it. Um, you can add labels, you can add text titles, you can add your, your image icon again. Um, but then to demonstrate, up here, I had already added this button um, because recording the macro would switch the scene and then you can't see what I'm doing. Um, but as demonstration, you click that and then it switches the OBS uh, scene and then I'm able to switch back. Um, I'm able to do this all with button presses. This makes it a lot easier to transition between different scenes while you're streaming, um, while still being able to interact with your community, with your viewers. So the last piece here is getting this, that uh, the stream deck that you built on the Power Grid program over to your device. So if this is your first grid, all you've gotta do is click apply. It'll ask you if you wanna save, and you're gonna hit yes. However, say you wanna have multiple decks, right? So this is my mainstream deck that I use. This is the one that we've built kind of throughout this tutorial. So if this is a secondary stream deck, what you have to do is come down here, click add to bar. And what it's gonna do is it's gonna add this next to your, your original grid. So now both of these are on the same bar. And then this bar mimics what you see at the top of your tablet. And then you're just gonna hit apply. Um, and then what, those will both show up. You'll be able to switch between the two different grids and you'll have the, the buttons there ready to go. So that should be the basic setup of Power Grid. Um, obviously you'll need to set it up for your, your own features, your own functions, whatever you want it to do. If you want it to play you know, sounds for sub alerts, um, things like that. It's very versatile, um, but I think this tutorial will at least get you guys close enough that you'll be able to set things up, you'll be able to get things running, and then you can play with it. So if you have a chance and you come up with a cool function, you come up with something sweet, you know, throw it in the comments, let me know what you guys come up with because uh, I think this is a really cool piece of software um, and it's a really good way to build a uh, DIY stream deck for uh, streamers that are starting out. If you got any questions, hit me up in the comments. Otherwise, talk to you guys later.